Typing on the screen is the default text input method for an iPad when you don't have a physical keyboard. But there are so many other ways that you can use to add text to your iPad. So do the following items instead. On your keyboard, you can dictate instead of typing. This is very accurate, but of course, you need to have turned on the option in your iPad settings. Auto punctuation helps. So we suggest turning that on because it helps your iPad to just do the punctuation for you without any extra work from your part. Dictation on the iPad can recognize punctuation commands. So your full stops, dash, colon, semicolon, all of that. You can always fix the few errors that may appear when you're using punctuation commands, but when you have a lot of text to type, this might actually be faster. You can also use Apple Notes to audio record your thoughts. By turning on live transcript, you're able to see what the app is transcribing in real time. When you're done, You can then reopen to add the transcript to your notes. We should just have this option without needing to reopen the recording. Unfortunately, that is not the case in Apple Notes. Another downside to using audio recording is that it is limited to Apple Notes. You can't use it anywhere else. You also can't fix any errors while you're recording by which time you might have forgotten what you were trying to say. The audio recording, of course, helps with that. But still, dictation on your keyboard is available everywhere. So it's probably better than audio recording. Another easy way to add text to your iPad is by scanning it using your iPad camera. This is handy for extracting text from documents, posters, or anything that is written so you don't have to type out everything. If you already have a picture of the document, you can use live text instead, where you just copy it for pasting wherever you need it. Maybe you really prefer typing, but hate the screen keyboard because it takes up so much space. You can use your MacBook keyboard if your device supports this. Both devices must be using the same Apple ID and be on the same Wi-Fi network with Bluetooth turned on. You then have to set this up on the Mac and on the iPad by turning on different options. On your Mac, Under your displays, you need to turn on these three options. The first one allows your keyboard and pointer to move between your Mac and iPad. The second one allows you to push the cursor through 
the edge of your screen to enter another device. And the third one allows for automatic reconnect when your devices are close to each other. On your iPad, you also have some settings that you need to turn on. Which are pan off. Then cursor and keyboard. When you've set this up, the cursor from your MacBook exits through the right side of your screen to enter the left side of your iPad. This then allows you to type on your iPad using your MacBook keyboard. And it frees up your iPad screen, which is great. Maybe you can't dictate or you don't have a MacBook. Another way to enter text without using the screen keyboard is to simply handwrite it using Scribble. It's working in the App Store. Scribble gives you real-time handwriting to text conversion. It even has a lot of gestures that allow you to erase and move your case around. It takes some getting used to, but once you've mastered it, it's a very cool alternative to typing on your iPad screen. You can easily bring back the keyboard when you're using Scribble. But the keyboard you bring up is a floating one that you can place anywhere on the screen. On this keyboard, you can swipe instead of typing, which might be faster for some. Let me turn off Scribble to see how we can access this floating keyboard without needing Scribble. It's actually automatically available for your iPad. All you have to do is to simply pinch the big screen keyboard to get a floating one. And to go back to the big one, zoom out on the bottom gray bar. Sliding to type on the floating toolbar is possible when you have the option turned on. And those are all the different ways that you can use to enter text on your iPad.